Okay, so thanks very much. So I'm, I'm Yuki from Moyabi Organic Farm. So I'm going to do a demonstration of a few, the few quick meals using the organic the harvest of the of the season. So I'm just starting off with the posting the sesame seeds and the pumpkin seeds. These are you can get from the health food shop and um, it makes very easy and, and simple and the guilt free snacks. So this is highly recommended. So that's what I'm starting out from. That's, this is going to be used later. Excuse me, have you done that in oil? In uh, oil? No, no, no. Nothing, just dry. Nothing, yeah. Just dry. Dry. Right. If you want to, but uh, I wouldn't. And, and it's uh, it's much nicer without. And this is sesame oil, uh, sesame seeds. And you can, you get the best the benefit from these seeds by toasting lightly. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, millet and the quinoa. I don't know if, if uh, any of you know quinoa. This is another ingredient you can get from a health food shop. And this is very beneficial to you. And when you mix millet and quinoa, it's, uh, it's a nice combination. It makes a uh, nice grainy, the interesting flavor. There's a bit of water. Basically, you need the same amount of water as the grain. And a little bit of sea salt. It's important to use sea salt rather than ordinary table salt because sea salt contains a lot of uh, mineral, natural minerals that's uh, very crucial to your health. So I let them cook for the moment. So these are our uh, own carrots, the first in the season. And when you have a carrot tender like this, you really don't need much cooking. And don't forget to use the, the carrot leaves when you get the really fresh leaves like this. And these can be marinated with uh, the plum seasoning that again you can get from health food shop and sprinkle them and uh, toss it around. And you can eat this straight away, but uh, if you marinate for a while, it, it gets even nicer. So we leave this for the moment. Fruit beans are getting in season. And yeah. Yeah. So this only needs a very slight cooking as uh, it's very tender. So I recommend you to steam or very lightly boil. There's a bit of salt. Millet and quinoa doesn't take too long, so it's very easy to cook them. Rice takes a bit longer, but uh, it's really worthwhile. And when you're in a hurry, millet and, and uh, quinoa will do you a good trick. And even uh, if you're in a hurry even more, uh, couscous is a very good because you only need to pour hot water and then <clears throat> you're ready to serve. 
we are offering strawberries and cream and uh, these are kind of leftover strawberries and when you have a day old or the some odd shaped the strawberries in your garden and what you can do is you can all put it into pot <laughs> my son says funny shaped ones are actually tastier actually. so what i do is i uh, just put <clears throat> strawberries in the pot and uh, some raisins. Um, can you ask me to hang on a few and more minutes or could you go up because um, I'll be up there then. A tiny pinch of salt. No problem. And then like, like, like. you don't need a, uh, water or anything. You just need to cook this away. So broad beans are done. The next thing is rocket pesto. We make a pesto with uh, basil, but rocket actually makes a very nice pesto. So I just put some. I put the. It is on. Pumpkin seed first. Okay. Yeah. First, I just zap the pumpkin seed and then a little rocket, lemon juice. Yeah, I have it, Kai. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. And a bit of salt. Fresh garlic from our garden. The good thing about the garlic in this season is the you don't need to peel. It's not dried yet, so you can just uh, chop all the way through and then you can just eat it like that, like a scallion and olive oil. Ingredients. So we're going to stuff it again. So, I'm going to mix this into a broad beans. So I mix the quinoa and millet, broad beans and uh, pesto. As you know, pesto is a very versatile, you can use this for pasta but also you can mix into potatoes or grains like this it's nice with salad and uh, rice as well um, yeah, uh, a bit of carrot and celery salad that we made earlier on Well, this is a meal on its own because it has uh, vegetables and grains and uh, <coughs> the vegetable protein from the seed. So it, it's very nice thing from the seeds and, and the beans. So this is the one thing. And I think the, the cooker is in sleep, so this isn't happening. But I, I made this earlier on because it, it, this is nice warm on top of the, the oats and then you can make an instant porridge but also it's very nice cool so I can serve you this uh, with a uh, you know without the uh, soya yogurt so that's the end of my demonstration thanks very much